Legend of Total War here with part 2 of my Rome 2 Legendary uh, Pontus campaign. On the previous episode I conquered the uh, Cappadocians at Mazaka and Samosata. And um, yeah, now just moving on to other things. I've only got one other enemy, which are these guys. The, uh, the Chimera. So I think I should deal with them before creating new enemies because I'm very weak at the moment um, even though I took out the Cappadocians quite easily I mean uh, I've only got this one army really and it's not very good I mean the slingers are alright but eastern spearmen suck so what I need to do is get a new army because they need to stay there for a while uh, because of the uh, unless I want a rebellion which I don't really even though I think I could handle it. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, what I'll do first is um, get some trade going. I'll start with whoever's going to offer, offer me the most. It's probably going to be the Seleucid Empire. Yep. Enter, so what do you got for me? And speak. That's too much. We are a mighty people. I'm not well playing that much. In the uses How about six ninety? And but holes, fucking assholes. All right. Um, I'll start with Athens. Enter, friend, and speak. Yeah, we I'll are accept a that. Mighty. Now we'll try the Seleucids again. Greetings. We are civilized. Uh, I do need to offer them money, I suppose. Let's see. I'll try that much. Yeah, it was, that's quite expensive, but it'll pay for itself, I reckon. Uh, Cyprus, let's see. Greetings. Opened up some new trade routes. We are civilized folk. By so you may speak as you wish, and we uh, by trading with the uh, Seleucids because of a uh, trade route going to their port. So they can now see uh, see other Be welcome nations. Here and speak as you wish. Okay, that's enough. Okay, my income's okay now. What I think I should do is disband this guy. Don't want a navy just yet. And also disband uh, these uh, eastern spearmen because I don't think I'm going to use them, or they're not going to be much use. I'd much rather have levy pikemen and hoplites at this point in time. Let's see. That'll do. I think I'm going to have largely skirmisher armies in this, not heavy infantry. It's very different from Rome, Only this faction, against from what I've seen so far. We fight for you, my lord. So I really need to buff up my income. Let's see. What I'll do is improve Samosata. I need more money. Let's see. So I'll cancel this for now. Because I reckon what I've got will will do. And I'll also get myself a little bit more food. That could be good. Now these guys being from the sea, don't have really any access to Amesia. They do have access to Sinope. So, but this guy's just a bronze shield pikeman. I'd rather have At your this guy, Pontic Royal Cavalry. I'd like to see what they're capable of. So I'll bring this uh, let's bring this guy to forced march. You Can march. he make it to Sinope? No. Bleed, bleed. Again. Nope. Okay, so Ready for battle. bring this guy we fight for to Samosata and this guy to Amesia. Not getting a whole lot of tax from this province. Then again, the tax is only at four, at minus four public order. 
But that extra money could help. If there's a rebellion, I'll just have to deal with it, I think. It shouldn't be too orders. hard. Ready for orders. My lord. Okay. Next turn, I'll move them over to Sinope and start recruiting an army to invade the Chimerians. Anyway, end turn. See what it brings. We implore you, show your strength. Engage oh. these foes, and by so doing, put fear in many hearts. To be honest, I do not need two enemies at this point in time, I think. So, Bithynians, you're on your own. I'm sure you can handle it. That didn't ruin relations, did it? Nah, see, they're cool with it. And I can always please, offer to join it again, it right? Take wine to cool the head before yeah. We oh, I might even be able to ask them for money, too. Macedonia, trade with me. Be welcome. If I Good. So maybe I should have asked that last turn. Uh, Sardis, trade Greetings, with me. My friend. Good. Shit. That's very good. How's my income now? Nice. Very good. Alright, now these guys, put them on forced march, bring them over to see... Actually, no. I won't put them on forced march. I'll... Hang on. What is... What's going on here? Okay, there's going to be a rebellion here if I don't do something about it. Military presence is at four. Oh, may I serve you? <sighs> it's uh, difficult to decide exactly what needs to be done. Maybe what I should do is demolish this and build something of actual use. Okay, what I'll do is I'll exempt them from tax just for now to slow it down because uh, it's obviously because uh, provinci uh, the province is insta unstable and of cultural differences which it is growing towards Greek at the moment so that's very good and I want cavalry yeah yeah okay Now, what else can I do with the money? I need to worry about my economy. First and foremost. I think. There's no point having a big army if it makes me go broke. Good. That should get me sorted. That seems like all the major buildings that need to be constructed. And now I can focus next turn my income on building... Um, armies. Okay, moving on. My lord wishes to bestow coin on your. Oh, that's pretty Accept good money. It as a token of friendship. Uh. Nah, to be honest, I just, I don't think I can handle these guys right now, as well as them. Because I've seen, have I, oh, I don't know. No, 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 I'm not going to be as aggressive on this one. Bithynia, you're on your own, you can handle it. I humbly ask that you at least consider a formal treaty. I'll consider Strong it defenses if you give me money. Foundations. Nah, 
If you don't accept this, you can go fuck yourself. Right. Okay, so I've got a, quite a bit of money now, so that's very good. I see. Move these or guys I over to Sinope. To your duties, man. And also start recruiting. Let's see, hoplites, I reckon. Actually, no, I should start recruiting the cheapest units first, with the lowest upkeep. Um, gonna need some slingers. So start with slingers. Yeah. Okay, this region's just about to stabilize. Let's see. I mean, I could use a little bit of food. But also, public order is very useful. So I'll go with public order. Because my food supplies are very low. Samosata, upgrade that. Oh, that also gives public order, so that's good. But that reduces food, so double-edged sword in that regard. Because what I want to do is invade up here. Anyway, moving on to the next turn. Oh, so, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if there's any more trading partners. Armenia. Now oh, you guys hate me. Give it a shot, the though. No. Up. No chance. About these guys. Do not wander in like nope. a What about what about peace? If these guys accept peace, then carefully no. to your work. if they accept peace, I can go to war against Galatea, which I'd actually prefer because that'd be a much more secure empire. So I'll defeat them, and then if no one else comes and attacks me, then I'll come and defeat fight Galatea. If it's if the Bithynians haven't already done that. Anyway, moving on to the next turn. So, very slow expansion so far. Well, it's actually come to a grinding halt. You are wise enough not to sit idly upon the bank. If you want to take no aggression from me, it it's going to cost by. you money. Not that much. It's going to cost you more. All right, it's going to cost you less. No, go fuck yourself. Come in here asking an aggressive player for a non-aggressive pact and not offering anything in return? Piece of shit. Athenians, you should be smarter than that. As all the gods look down on us, they too must wonder why we are not firmer allies and friends. Because you're not paying me money, bitch. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so this region is is quite stable now. Probably not so that I can tax it. No. Not quite yet. Ready for order. Move them to Sinoop. You call this a garrison? And we'll recruit two more slingers. And then that'll do for the slingers. Six lots of slingers will do... Actually, no, make it... F yeah, six lots of slingers in each army. Yeah. Buildings. This. Good. Just got enough for that. It's eating into my food supplies, though. That's okay, as long as it remains above zero. Anyway, I, nothing else I could do this turn. I did see that the uh, Chimerians moved over here. Looks like they're about to attack Nicomedia. That's okay. If they attack Nicomedia, then I'll just come and retake it. and That'll help secure this whole province for myself. Um, and that's the region capital as well. Or province capital. Or I could go and attack, hopefully, their undefended land. Anyway, we'll see. Right, I forgot about him. By sea or by mountain, sire. Let's see. Give you cunning. And then get inside this army. 
ever will. My lord! Let's see what's going on there. My lord! And now end turn. fuck are you guys doing you morons if you're gonna make an attack make a fucking attack don't go back and forth like idiots There's actually a bigger army there that I can handle if they came and attacked me it'd be okay I think but a garrison to help me out Empress is gone don't care okay so now I can get some semblance of cavalry citizen cavalry it's not great, but I can also get Pontic Swordsmen, which I don't think they're very good either. Is there any th any economic things that I can purchase? This. So that'll be useful for public order. That'll be good for food. Food. Now, it's not a huge concern. gonna go down by four so I'll be at I'll be at two by the end of this but that's okay yes get the hoplite barracks and then after I get that I'll think about um, civil um, technologies Okay, and now for army. For you, my lord. Let's see. Now I've got all my slingers sorted out. What else do I need? Hillmen, are, they're not very good. I think I'd prefer hoplites over them. But I also need some levy pikemen. So I'll get four levy pikemen um, in the army. So one recruitment. And then I'll start recruiting... Um, Hoplites after that. At your command. Okay, and moving on to the next turn. I really hate pressing end turn without having conquered a settlement. I really fucking hate it, but there's nothing much I can do about it at this point. I've got a shit economy, a shit army, I'm surrounded by people that I don't want to piss off just yet. I can probably only just afford to maintain one full stack. Okay, so Mithridates died. By the looks of it. But that's okay. I'll get this guy and plonk him onto Pontic Royal Cavalry. How may I serve Pontus? Okay, so that should have increased my trade income significantly. It did increase my um, uh, public order. So now I can start to tax these guys again. And it's still growing in my favor. Wonder if I can tax it back to normal now. Yeah, so that that's good. That sorts that out. Okay. What else can I build? Not much. That's expensive. Can't really do that anyway cuz I'll then I'll have no food. A Shrine of Poseidon. That'll give me three food, but it won't improve much else. Sacred Grove might actually be better. And then... My Lord. Let's see. They really need to worry about the uh, Chimerians. Don't worry about the Ga Ga Galateans. So one more of these, and then... Pikemen. And that'll put my army at 13. I want a full stack before I go after the Chimerians. 
my trade income is at 1,329. That's decent. It's not. Could be better, I reckon. See if there's anyone that will trade with me. People that hate Before me probably won't. Nope. Okay, it should get better once this is built next turn. I should have an extra 20 iron. So, let's see. How much is iron worth at the moment? I'm getting 32. 32. So it should double in all provinces. That's getting um, iron. So that should really significantly boost my income. Anyway, moving on. That being said, I'll probably still have less of an income now due to the fact I'm purchasing hoplites. That just helps to offset it a little bit. Where the fuck are you going? More on allies. Whatever. Okay, yeah, so it definitely did help. Like, if you can see my trade income, it's much better now. So that's good. Come on, Bithynians. You can sort that out, can't you? Or do I have to step in and help out? Ah, you're on your own. I don't give a shit. I don't want allies. Yeah, because if you die, I'll, come, I'll be there to reconquer Nicomedia, and I'm not giving it back. You can be sure of that. More hoplites, please. I can't construct anything else anyway. Unless I want to convert it to that. That'd be okay, because... Um, that'd give me extra food. Yes, I'm actually going to do that. Okay, moving on to the next turn. I've actually got a little bit of surplus here, so that's good. I'd like to not piss off the Galateans while I'm away, because I'm going to invade soon. How much do they hate me? Not too badly. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue to the dogs. No. I'm not paying for it. So... Because after I'm done with this, I would like to come and kill them. In addition to the Armenians. And the, um, uh, Trapezos motherfuckers. Anyway, moving on. Okay, looks like the Bithynians managed to repel the, um, the Chimerians, so that's good. Or is it Cimmerians? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. War declared Sparta on Macedon. Whatever. Likes women. Whatever. Find that to be a... That better be a good trait. Doesn't really matter to me. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's only with Bread and Games Edict. So that's pretty useful. Okay. And now I should have access to Cavalry. So I've got Citizen Cavalry. Their charge bonus isn't very good. But... Some Cavalry is better than none. And this will give me Noble Blood Cavalry. Oh, I'd like to get my hands on those. Okay, so what have I got my here? Lord. I've got five lots of Hoplites, four lots of Levy Pikemen, six lots of um, Eastern Slingers. Am I ready to go after the Chimerians? I don't know. It'd be a bit of a risk, because I'd like to have four lots of Cavalry, but I don't want Citizen Cavalry, so I'd go and attack, and then come back, and... It should be ready. This technology will enable it, and then I should be able to get them. 
I'm surprised my economy hasn't bloody tanked out. So that's really good. I can actually build that up. I oh, know I can't. No, that'll cost too much food. Um, okay. Uh, it's risky, but I like risks. Which one first? I can't see. I know there's a... That looks like there would be... Actually, go via this method. Okay, let's see. I have no idea which one would be their capital or not. That is Just gonna have to take a risk. Journey completed. We must rest a while. Okay, I need to see which is which. Okay, so that's their capital. It might be best to avoid that one for now, because it's got a full stack in there. Fleet reporting and to go after this one instead. To the but I'd like to not if you wish. necessarily be in its way. I don't want it to come after me just yet. Otherwise I've got to come back and retrain. That's provided I win. I'm not fighting a manual, uh, a naval battle manually because they're fucking glitched. Okay, I'll leave things as they are and I'll stockpile a bit of money. And see how it goes. What are they doing? Ah, oh, shit. Avoid. We will return. Good, go down and fight the Bithynians, you fucking morons. I'm clearly the bigger threat. Whatever. Oh yeah, I should be giving my guys promotions. I've only got 55% of the Senate. Or whatever. Count court nobles. I could adopt these guys. Actually, this yeah, because this guy's going to get a lot of experience. So I might as well adopt him now. Cost me a bit. That's okay, I've got plenty of money. And now he's mine, good. What are you guys doing? You should be over here. Ready for orders. Let's see. Anything of any use? Not really. I'll just upgrade that, I suppose. That'll give extra movement speed. Ready Not that, that those guys are going anywhere just yet. Can't do that. I've got barely any food. Yes. Okay, get off forced march. Good, I can probably just make it here. Oh, they're taking attrition. Shit. For honor and glory to the pillars of Okay, Fangoria, you're fucking mine. Set up a blockade. Uh there I really shouldn't do this one automatic because I can expect a counterattack pretty soon, I reckon. Uh not to mention that these guys here might just go straight to Sinop. Um, that's highly a possibility. If they do that, though, I'll be very annoyed. Um, I don't. Th I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm here now. I might as well kill these guys. I'll try and beat. Th I'll use my slingers. I've got slinger superiority. I don't even think I'm going to need my infantry.
Okay, so the settlement's name is actually Fanagoria. Not whatever I said. I'd like it to be dry, please. No, be dry. That's even worse. That's better. Slingers! Okay, so slingers out front. Who's got more armor? They've got 75. These guys have 55. These guys are of less value, so I'll use them as human shields. Oh, they're going to be over here. It's okay. Move them there. At your service. I should also have my hoplites close by. And my... Oh, I want to see what these guys are capable of. Let's see. So they can actually run whilst in phalanx formation in this game. That's cool, because in Rome 1 you had to take them off phalanx first. And they're shooting at me. Not very concerned just yet. At your service! Still, if I get a chance, I'd certainly like to give them the arse end of the spear. As you wish. The men are wavering. Which is the pointy end, by the way. Because it goes up the arse. I should have made that clear. Get rid of these archers. Oh shit, they're already broken. Or oh, whatever. Our general is under attack. Yep, so they're being stupid, which is what I'd expect from them. Move forward. Keep those other slings out of the way. They've taken enough casualties. The battle is turning in our favor. Maneuver my uh, general into a position where I can actually do some real damage. Which is around their back. So is it hoplites or hoplites? I don't know. Okay, these guys are taking damage. I should use my ability. Okay, fucking smash these step archers. There you go. Oh yeah, that was nice. Oh shit. Hoplites, get the fuck out of there. I would actually like to see how they fared against them. Probably not very well by the looks of it. Understood. Trample. That'd be cool. Alright. It's only militia hoplites. I'll give it a shot. It's only the early game, and this guy's got. I did pay 2,000 to have him on my side. Let's see how it goes. Oh, reasonable considering they were spearmen. Okay, now get the hell out of there. Oh, shit. Our general has fallen. Oh, that's fucking stupid. It seems like in every campaign I have to lose a few generals early on. And I just paid money for him too. What a what a waste. Oh well, I gotta get the hang of these types of units. And 
right when the battle the was over too. By your command. There we go. I think that's the end of the battle. Cool. To be honest, I obviously did fucking shit because I got my general killed, but luckily he was of no importance, so I'll just replace him. Yeah, whatever. I had to see what it would do. Better to do it with a crap general than a good one. I mean, it sucks because I paid 2,000 just to get him to be on my faction, but... Oh well. Ah, they're all other families. I'll get this guy. Oh, may I serve Pontos? And then maybe he's from other families. Yeah. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the dog's barking, so I'm just gonna get off now. Good timing, and see what the problem is. Anyway, so like and subscribe. Part three is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. I'll see you next time.